Hello, today I'll be showing you how to navigate 3PL Warehouse Manager's Support Portal. You can find the link to the Support Portal in 3PL Warehouse Manager's Support Navigation header within the Customer Central drop-down list. When you select Support Portal, the system will automatically recognize your credentials and sign you in in a new tab. This is the Support Portal homepage where you can see all of your recently viewed support pieces. In the top navigation menu, you can access each support portal page and the search functionality, which allows you to search for a specific support case. First, let's take a look at the account page. There are three key elements here. The first is your account information on the left side of the page. You can view your account's unique TPL number and GUID, as well as the direct contact information for your customer success manager. Below this, you can also find quick links for requesting a new integration or a customer report. The second is your API usage. This section gives you a visual representation of your monthly API utilization, including the total allowed bandwidth and API calls for the month, and the amount you've used thus far. The third element here is the charges section, which populates your 20 most recent invoices. Selecting an invoice number opens the invoice summary in a new tab. If your invoice has not been paid, you can select the orange button located below your total balance, then enter your payment information. Once paid, you'll see that reflected here in the invoice summary and back on the account page. Here in the invoice summary and back on the account page. Now that we've reviewed the account page, let's try creating a new support case. Click create a case, then fill in the three required fields. You have subject, where you provide a short summary of the issue you're experiencing. Description, to describe your issue in detail and provide replication steps. And major product area, to categorize your issue. For major product area, we ask you to use your best judgment. For instance, the find orders page would fall under warehouse manager. Smart parcel would fall under shipping systems. Reporting would be considered output and analytics, and Smart Scan is considered mobile. You also have the ability to attach a file. Now we're going to submit. It's as simple as that. Your case has been created and you will receive a confirmation email. Once submitted, it will take you to the case as it exists on the Open Cases page. This view shows the details you entered at the time of creation, and your assigned case number to keep for your records. Once you create a case, you have three options of interacting with the case. The first option is adding a new comment in the case comment section by clicking new. This is used if you need to include any additional information to help the support agent troubleshoot your issue or even if you want to ask for an update. Once you click add, the page will reload with your latest comment. This is also an easy way to reopen a case that has been closed. Leaving a comment on a closed case will move it back to an open state. To view comment details, select the arrow next to the name of the person who left the comment. You can also click Expand All to view details of the full comment thread or if all comments are currently open to close the full thread. The second option is uploading an attachment in the file section. Maybe you didn't have the file on hand at the time of creation, or maybe the support agent asked you to provide a specific file to assist with troubleshooting. You can use the Upload Files button or drag and drop your files from a folder on your device. You can also select multiple files at a time using Control on your keyboard. Once you identify the files to upload, you'll get a progress tracker and a confirmation message once it is complete. And you'll see that the files have been attached to the case. The third option is closing a support case in the case detail section. If your issue has been resolved and a support agent hasn't closed your case yet, you can go ahead and click close case to move the case to a closed status. If you select the open cases page from the navigation menu, you'll see that it gives you a list of all your company's currently open support cases. On the right, you'll see each support case status defined. 
This helps you understand where your case stands in the support team's workflow. For instance, if it's been escalated from the front line to the EDI team, or if it's simply waiting on your reply. If you want to sort the support cases that display in the grid by the case number, subject, status, or when it was opened, simply click on the relevant column header to sort the cases in ascending order. Click again to sort in descending order. To view a support case, select the associated case number in the grid. It takes you to the same view we saw earlier when we created a case. The closed cases page has the exact same view as the open cases page, except all the support cases here are in a closed status. Now let's take a look at the Manage Credentials page. If you're working with an external developer, you can use this page to create and edit REST API credentials. Once created, the API credential enables the developer to access your instance of 3PL Warehouse Manager without having to send a request to our support team. And that completes our overview of the support portal. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our Help Center, where you can find detailed guidelines on navigating the support portal. Thank you for listening.